I'm here with the Firefly and I'm going to show you how I set up a simple PCR protocol. It's a protocol that's already been written, so I've logged in uh, under my username and account and the protocols are available to me are visible on the screen. So if I go to the machine at the moment, it's a, it's a blank screen. I'm going to go to um, open a file, so I'll go to my folder on the computer. Um, I'm going to open uh, the demo protocol that I want to run, which is my PCR setup. And when I load that, um, I can see uh, the steps and the, the programming behind this. But I'm actually going to skip by that for now and just go straight to the execute screen, which is where I'll go to if, when I'm generally running this. So first of all, I can see a summary. Uh, there's a description that I added when I wrote this protocol, just to give an overview of what, what the protocol is. I can see all the steps involved in the protocol and look at the details within that. Um, I've also got a very nice overview of the labware and consumables that I'm going to need uh, to run this protocol. And I could check this from my desk. Um, I can have the software there. Uh, other people who want to use this can check this. So you can check what you need before you come to the machine. And then I'm going to go to the setup and loading guide, uh, which actually walks me through the whole process and sequence of loading the system and make sure that I get everything in the right place. Um, so it shows me the overall uh, layout of the machine. If I click next, it goes step by step through what I need to do. So the first thing is load the syringes. So I can click get access and it'll bring the dispense head to the front so I can easily access it. I've actually already loaded the syringes um, earlier, so I'm not going to repeat that process, uh, but I could complete that here if I needed to. Um, if I go to the next screen, um, I need to load a tip box. If I press get access, it actually moves everything out of the way so I can get to the part of the machine I need to. So it shows me that I need a 50 microliter box in L2. Um, so I'm going to do that uh, now, it's this one here. Uh, so I'll pop that into L2. Uh, next is the second tip box, which is now the 50 microliters in uh, L3. So I'll pop that in there. Uh, and then next, um, I need my 384 well plate. Um, so I'm just using a grinder 384 well plate and that's in position U6 and again if I press get access it'll just move it into the most convenient place to actually load the plate. So I'll pop that in there, go next, uh, another 384 well plate, this time in U3 and then next again and this time it's my source plate so I've actually got some pre-dispensed kind of fake samples in here, just some, some blue dye that we're using, and that's going in U7. Um, and if I go next, the final thing I need to do is to fill the re reservoirs with the reagent that we're going to use. Again, just using some nice colourful liquid, and I actually already did that, um, but I can just pop that into um, the block there, which is actually a temperature controlled block as well. And then finally, click next, and my setup is complete. And at this point, I can actually go on to run the protocol and execute. Right, so I'm going to hit um, play now um, and start this protocol. And first it's going to do is pick up a set of 96 tips. Um, so it's just loading that, those onto the head now. Um, and it can switch um, seamlessly between different tip formats um, during a protocol just as part of standard programming. So it's very flexible in that respect. Um, so it's now got those tips. Um, so now the uh, dispense head is going to go and aspirate um, the, the reagent for dispensing. Uh, we're just using a, a nice bright orange, uh, almost fluorescent dye for this just so that you can see it. Um, the, the, here we're going to actually use uh, multiple syringes, um, six syringes in total with the same reagent, but you've got a complete choice over how many syringes that you use. And it's, it's simply a question of um, dead volume versus speed. So you can see here with all six syringes dispensing simultaneously, it's extremely quick. And that's a 96 well plate dispensed to already. So now it's going to go in and uh, aspirate from um, that combination of the, the blue sample and the, uh, the master mix that's just been added. Uh, we could add a mix cycle here if we liked, but uh, actually the jetting from the uh, dispenser is actually quite effective at mixing. So we've taken sample now and we're going to quadrant that out into a 384 well plate. Um, we're just using tip touch feature there as well, so we ensure that the droplets of the uh, dispenser sample uh, touch off into the plate. 
Um, and we can do that in a number of ways. We can touch off on the side of the wells, we can touch off at the liquid surface. It's uh, all co controllable within the uh, protocol. Um, so it's just moving to the final quadrant there. Um, again, just do its final touch off. And now it's going to switch the tips out and it's going to pick up um, a set of 384 tips that it's going to use a little later in this protocol. So in this case, it's actually picking up the tips first before it then goes on to do a move. It's picking on up clean tips here and it's then going to show you that it can actually move um, a plate with the gripper uh, with tips loaded. But it's entirely up to you if you do in that order. If you had some dirty tips that you wanted to first remove and then move the plate around with the gripper without tips on, you can do that as well. So it's entirely um, up to the user in terms of the sequence that they program in the protocol. Um, so the, uh, the gripper comes out it's uh, taking the plate and it's going to take it now down below the moving decks to the uh, shaker position. It does a quick check first, so it first grips and fills the plate, checks that it's there and then it moves to the uh, shaker position. Um, the shaker is uh, quite a powerful shaker. Um, it works up to 3000 RPM and it's also got a plate lock on it. Um, so as the plate is loaded in, there's a little tab that will lock the plate into position securely and then um, shake um, and I think this one is quite high speed around about 2000 rpm um, so it's quite effective even with uh, 384 wall plates and we've found that we can uh, in certainly 96 wall plates we can resuspend bead pellets and so on quite effectively with the shaker uh, so it means you can effectively mix without having to uh, to waste tips um, using a tip mixing approach of course if you want to do tip mixing you can as well so you've got total flexibility so it's now just after a very short uh, shake for this, uh, for this demo, we'd probably shake for longer in reality, um, but it's just doing a short shake and now it's going to go and pick up the plate and bring it back to the, uh, the deck uh, for the final part of this short demonstration. Um, and the next part is going to actually utilise the 384 tips um, and it's now just going to take a copy of those, uh, of those samples in the 384 plate and make a replicate plate. Um, in the other 384 wall plate that's on the deck. Um, so now it's just going in, aspirate from that plate, it's just taking a short air gap and then it's uh, moving in, aspirating, and then it's going to transfer that over to the final uh, destination plate. And again, it's just doing a short tip touch just to ensure any droplets are left in the source plate. It's got a post air gap as well, and now the final dispense into the, um, into the plate. And that's essentially the end of this uh, short demonstration protocol. The final thing is just downloading the tips and then it will be back to uh, uh, the final completion. You've also got a very extensive execution log, log which is recorded at the side of the screen so you can see every single step that's been executed during the protocol and these can be uh, exported to kind of limb systems and so on. Uh, so that's it, the, the protocol's finished.